So where am I right now? Well, I am in the middle of nowhere and the cows in the background give it away, which is probably the safest place to be right now. But that still doesn't mean you can't go flying. Hello, Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And yes, we are living in the age of Corona and we must all take this thing very, very seriously. But that doesn't mean you still can't go flying. As for me, I am out in Wachula, Florida at Harvest Aviation Ministries. And Harvest Aviation Ministries, you can look above online. Um, they're the organization that I do a little bit of work with here and there and I help them out and I volunteer and they have my airplane right now because they're using it to um, do some training and do some uh, just do some errands around here but mostly they're using the plane for training for their pilots to get their hours up and they need a good functional airplane that they could use to keep everybody current so while my plane is not being used during the week they can certainly use it and absolutely keep everybody current so the other wonderful thing about Wachula is it is in the middle of nowhere and if you look around there is nothing and nobody here which is the safest place to be right now and it is wonderful so here's the story for today a couple days ago I went flying with a friend of mine Brian who you've seen in other videos and he said hey why don't you do a soft field landing on this one? And I said, oh, okay, what the hell is that again? I forgot, I totally forgot my basic flying. So we did soft field and we did short field takeoffs and landing and oh my gosh, my performance was absolutely abysmal. So I've been shooting instrument approaches like crazy and coming into big airports and what has happened is I have forgotten the basics. I mean, basic pattern flying. What happened to my basic piloting skills? I have no idea where they went, who took them, but I think I lost them. My landings were awful. I mean, they were just terrible. What is the problem? I couldn't hit my mark. I couldn't do anything. It was like, it was worse than when I was learning, when I was getting my private pilot's license. I mean, this was just pathetic. So I went back the next day and I just did basic basic pattern flying and oh my gosh, it was absolutely abysmal. My speeds were terrible. I couldn't hit my marks or anything. So this is what we are doing today. We are going back to basics because we have to, as good pilots, we have to keep those basic skills current and keep them proficient. So this is what we're gonna do today. And I will apologize for any bad landings that you see from this point out. So as I said before, my basic pattern work was awful. I mean, my basic pattern work was absolutely abysmal. So what we're gonna do... <laughs> so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go back to basics. We're gonna do basic pattern work. First, we're gonna do a normal landing and I gotta watch my speeds. The one thing I noticed is that my speeds were out of control. They were really, really fast. And um, the last few airports that I've come into, I was looking, well, they've been major airports with like huge long runways. Well. It's been a long time since I've been to my um, home airport in DC, which is VKX, which has a runway of about 2,200 feet. And everything was a short field takeoff and a short field landing there. Uh, and I have been spoiled out here. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do, the first thing is we will do a short field landing. I am gonna call a mark. I'm gonna get my speeds down and we're gonna see what that's like. All right, this is short field, and what we're gonna do is, and already my speed is out of control. What we're gonna do is we're gonna aim for that third mark there, that third uh, center line. And get these speeds up. I mean, get these speeds in control here. I'm on the glide path. There we go, 78, that's it. And we want to cross that threshold at about 70, touch down at about 65, and get that mark right there. There we go. Oh, no good, no good. All right.
We're going to do this again. Wichula traffic, Cardinal 221, Frank. He's on the go, runway 18, Wichula. All right, so that was not good. Let's try it again. So, the one thing that I'm noticing I'm having problems with is patience, 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 patience. So get that pattern well set up. And I'm just kind of talking to myself now, but I gotta get that pattern well set up just like I did in my private pilot training. And I made that turn a little wide there. And get the rest of these flaps out. Again, my mark will be that third center line dash. And I want to be about 70 over the threshold. There's always a little dip in the trees here. And it is a little gusty, but I'm not going to let that bother me. There we go. One, two, three. I was a little off on that one. A little off, but you know what? That was close. That was close, and of course, short field, I'd be doing a lot of heavy braking now, but it's really hot, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So here we go. Wichula traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is on the go, runway 18, Wichula. Okay, flaps up, full power, airspeed's live, and rotate. Get that trim back up there. And we'll climb out at BY, which is 80 miles an hour at this plane. So there we have it. That is a, that was a decent short field landing. It wasn't good though. So we're gonna do it one more time. Yes, one more time. With Chula Traffic Cardinal 2-4 for Yankees, turning left cross point for runway 1-8, staying in the pattern with Chula. Now remember how exciting this was when I was learning to fly. It was just so cool <laughs> staying in the pattern. And what's surprising is how quickly we forget it and how quickly I forgot it. Just that basic stuff. Uh, so it's really important to keep that, you know, those skills sharp. All right, so my new mark will be the touchdown markers right there. And that's what I'm gonna aim for. So let's get that power all the way. Now all the way back, get those flaps down. Alright, so let's slow this airplane down into the wide arc. And get your first notch of flaps down. And there is my turn for final mark. And it is a little gusty. So this will be a short field landing. Wichula traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is turning left base for runway 18, Wichula. And I remember I was always fearful during this phase not to let that nose come down. And as I progress here, I know how important it is on that page to let that nose come down. Wichula traffic, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is turning final runway 18, Wichula. And it is gusty. But the third, the third center line. There it is. <laughs> Little sloppy, very, very sloppy, which I've apologized beforehand. But I really wanted to slow this plane down and um, get that mark. So, look, my poor performance today just shows everybody that we need to keep these skills up. And it's really important to do that. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. And I am going to 
become a better pilot like all of us. Which you look at, Cardinal 221 for Yankee is clear of runway 18. So, we'll see you next time.